there, folks. Well, I'm thrilled to be here today with Evan Kuhn, the president of DeLorean Labs. But before we dive into this panel, I'd like to set the stage. Out of full transparency, this partnership holds special meaning for myself, but I think also a lot of other millennials. From the time I first saw the Back to the Future film series, I've been enthralled with the DeLorean, and I cannot count the number of times I've rode the DeLorean ride at Universal Studios. I think the DeLorean car is so compelling because it was a, developed as a futurist vision of what automotives could be. And so, learning about the incredible entrepreneur and visionary John DeLorean, who built the DeLorean Motor Company, only cemented my fascination. John DeLorean was an icon and a titan of an automotive exec, but he got there with an iconoclastic approach to innovating in an industry with long-established norms and even antiquated ones. To that end, I think we can draw a similar comparison to the core contributors of the SWE protocol. Because unlike legacy layer one and layer two blockchain solutions, SWE was developed with the benefit of hindsight, and it was built from the ground up to address the scalability, the throughput, and economic concerns that plagued early smart contract platforms. The result is a monolithic layer one blockchain solution that can support high volume networks and brands from any and every industry, including ones that have millions and millions of dedicated community members, such as DeLorean. You can imagine then, when our team at SWE Foundation learned that DeLorean was looking for a blockchain partner as they were preparing for the development and sale of the first DeLorean model in 40 plus years, we knew there was a role for us to play. Today, we will be sharing why we think this collaboration with DeLorean is game changing and we will dive into the convergence of these two brands. So, let's buckle up and look under the hood of the DeLorean and SWE partnership and explore what it could mean for the broader automotive and crypto industry. Starting with perhaps the most obvious question, why did DeLorean decide to break ground into the Web3 domain as a traditional automotive company, and why now? Yeah, thank you, Gabe. So excited to be here. Like, wow, I can't believe this day is finally here, and I'm so blessed to be able to represent an iconic brand. DeLorean's been around for 40 plus years, and it's really built such a fascinating community. And the way I look at Web3, it's all about community and bringing people together. And the technology is just perfect for that. So we're really aiming to you know, bring the existing DeLorean community into our Web3 universe. Got it. So you touched on the DeLorean community. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more, like, who are they? How many are there? Are they made up of, is it made up of car enthusiasts, DeLorean fanboys, Back to the Future fans? or some combination of all of the above? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, who here you know, was born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s, you know, had a chance to you know, see Back to the Future, you know, all the war that came around it. You know, I remember being six years old watching Back to the Future 2 and seeing that DeLorean come out, and I was hooked you know, ever since then. So you know, I, I think we've got car enthusiasts, we've got film enthusiasts, you know, video game enthusiasts, like, all walks of life, you know, all different ages. And, and, you know, it's just such an iconic design. And could you, could you give us, like, a ballpark number of, you know, the, the, the amount of, you know, people we think are uh, in the spectrum of the DeLorean community? Well, I, I mean, I think it's in the millions, if not hundreds of millions. I, mean, I had a layover in Dubai on my way here. I was walking through the airport, saw the Lego store. DeLorean has a collaboration with Lego. And it was the most popular set in the store. I saw a few people hovered around it. They were, had their phone out converting the Durhams to their own currency to see how much it costs. And just everywhere I go, I, you know, I'm seeing something DeLorean related. Amazing. Well, you heard it here f first, folks. We have millions of millions of community members ready to join the SWE ecosystem. <laughs> so. Moving on to the technology and the sweet technology stack, can you go into a little bit of detail about why DeLorean felt like SWE was the right blockchain uh, to support its you know, business operations and initiatives at scale, and what type of you know, unique capabilities were the draw um, to working with SWE? Yeah, so I've been fascinated with what SWE is doing. Um, even just watching the keynote this morning, like if you didn't get to see that, like, you'll be even more bullish about what SWE is doing having seen that. 
And I think you know, what they're doing so well is bringing Web 2 into Web 3. So really making it seamless for that next round of the adoption curve. And especially if you look at the Stash Wallet, if you're not familiar with it, they allow people to sign up with a Twitch account or a Gmail account, making it super easy. And we're going to come back to that later on in this presentation. So it sounds like we're confident that there's multiple aspects of the DMC platform that's going to be benefit from this type of you know, streamlined blockchain ledgering and other technology. And I, I, I believe we have a preview of what that's going to look like a little bit later um, as we go into more specifics. But for now, could you tell us why DeLorean at this stage, at this point in time, is ripe for Web3 innovation, perhaps compared to competitors in the industry? Yeah, so I've been in this uh, crypto space since 2016 or so, and everywhere I've been going, you know, you see a DeLorean, whether it's you know outside at a conference, um, you know, I know there's an exchange around that, that has a DeLorean as well that they bring to a few events. So DeLorean's been in the space, you know, we're, we're just embracing it and, and jumping in ourselves as a company. Could you could you touch a little bit on? you know, the vertical integration of the DeLorean company itself and why, you know, perhaps compared to a Ford or a, a Toyota, you guys can move with a little more haste and expedience in terms of implementing a, you know, bleeding edge technology and, and you know, blockchain solutions? Yeah, so we, uh, we announced a new car uh, a year or so ago. We released some build slots. And one of the fascinating things we're doing is putting those build slots on chain. So if you bought the car, you can start trading it and kind of interacting with it before you even take delivery of it. And, and, you know, it just kind of, you know, we've seen other car brands, you pay your deposit, you wait five years for your car to come. You know, you're stuck kind of in that, you know, with this, we give flexibility to the people that if they want to trade it or, uh, you know, see the value of their purchase. So we're saying that you can literally trade your DeLorean on chain yep. through our marketplace, uh, which is coming by the end of the year. <laughs> and can I, can I ask a, a kind of a follow up here? Is, are, is DeLorean going to ex explore chain of title and other aspects of ownership and identification on chain? Well, yeah, I mean, sky's the limit of what we can do. Like, you know, I'm so excited of all the different things you could do. Like, you know, we could have the miles you drive on your DeLorean update in real time onto your NFT. You, know, you could have people placing bids on your vehicle, even if you're not looking to sell it. And then you kind of have that uh, certificate of authenticity as well. Amazing. So it sounds like, to a degree, the SWE blockchain is going to be integrated into the operating system of a DeLorean. Oh, yeah. yeah, very much so. So the first of its kind, from, from my understanding, of, of any you know, competitor, right? Of yeah, actually... we're looking to revolutionize the auto industry. You know, in, you know, as every industry is ripe for disruption, you know, we're looking to do that in automotive. As, as we've suggested here, we, we really think this partnership could spur a paradigm shift in the way um, automotive and car design companies develop their software and operating system. Um, and, you know, to, to kind of dovetail off of that, can we can we go through, you know, I guess, or just give us your your most exciting use case for the SWE blockchain on the De DeLorean uh, DMC platform? Let me, like, right now, uh, you know, want to kind of pivot the conversation to something we've been working on over the last few months. So, you know, it takes a few years to develop a car, but, you know, we wanted to jump in with SUI, get something out right away. So we've been working on something that I like to show you a video on right now. Let's do it. So that right there is the new DeLorean time capsule. So it's a new release that we're dropping. It's going to be the first drop from DeLorean, limited to only 8,800. And you can go to DeLorean Labs right now and sign up for it. And the reason you're going to want to sign up for it is because in a few months, we're going to open these time capsules. 
and there's going to be, everyone's going to get some prize, but there's going to be a grand prize. Someone will win a new DeLorean. So that, that's going to be massive. And then you're going to want to hold on to these as well, because, you know, throughout our life cycle, we're, you know, going to be drops and you know, a lot of exciting, cool things. So you can almost look at this as like your membership into the community. Wow, that is incredible. Uh, I will be signing up for that very shortly. Can, can you also maybe touch on some of the other prizes or, or rewards that folks who mint NFTs um, would have access to? Yeah, so we've got lots of experiences. You know, Dorian's a key partner with Karate Combat. So ringside experiences with them. Uh, working on some stuff with F1. We've got the big race happening this week. Uh, partners with Nike. As you know, there's been some uh, Nike DeLorean stuff in the past. So looking to revive some of those and a lot of other cool brands. Wow. So let, let's parse that out a little bit. Is there, you know, the, the DeLorean has created a business beyond the development and sale of the automotive itself in the form of licensing its, its IP to various, you know, traditional industries as well as in, in the gaming sector. Can you, can you maybe go into a, a little bit of detail of what some of those partnerships look like or just the brands that folks in the crowd may know of? Yeah, I, well, I mean, the, the car is just the tip of the iceberg. Like, you know, there's this iconic brand and design philosophy, and we want to be able to bring this design, design philosophy to our partners. You know, so as I mentioned, you know, you have Nike, um, you know, and a few others I can't mention, you know, yeah, but stay tuned. We're going to be dropping some amazing brand partnerships. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and to seeing kind of everything, you know, DeLorean has to offer. And, you know, I, I have to say this about the team at DeLorean. Um, they've been incredibly dedicated to utilizing the SWE technology and the way that it was meant to be used. It, it shows the actual utility um, in that it, the, the, the SWE um, blockchain itself is a stump function and advancement compared to some of our layer one and layer two competitors. And so it's been a pleasure to see the progress that the, you know, Sweet Foundation and DeLorean Labs teams have made in just this short amount of time working together. Um, and I think that the future is, is really promising. Oh, yeah, and I will add on the partnerships. I see it on the screen. It is announced now. The uh, Animoca Motorverse, you know, really excited to have a, a DeLorean in the Motorverse uh, and get that out there. Wow. So can one quick question on that, actually. So can you explain a little bit what that means, practically speaking, of a DeLorean in the Motorverse? Yeah, so you'll have your DeLorean NFT, and then you can drive that in the video game and play to earn. You know, it's a, a new protocol that we're going to be working on as well with them. So we'll be able to drive a car in the Motorverse and earn rewards and drive a car in real life yep. and potentially earn rewards. Yep, yep. That's, a, that, that's an interesting juxtaposition, but looking forward to, to all of this. Is there anything else you'd like to leave us with um, in terms of you know, what, what the, the future looks like for, for, for the DeLorean Labs brand as well as the SWE ecosystem? Yeah, so I've just been, as I said, you know, really bullish on SUI, really impressed with everything SUI is doing. You know, looking forward to building this relationship, strengthening the collaborations, and you know, continuing with amazing partnerships, product drops, and you know, we're just getting started. I'm uh, so excited. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, um, and thank you for everybody in the, in the crowd hanging in for our last presentation of the day. Um, I think it's fair to say where, where the Sweet Foundation and DeLorean Labs is going, we're not going to need roads, folks. Thank you. <laughs>